The Detroit Lions get the job done on the road in a bounce back victory out west against the Arizona Cardinals and are now 2-1 on the season heading into their final game before the bye week next Monday against Seattle. That's going to be an exciting game as well. We'll talk about that obviously later on. But overall, what a victory today against a really good Cardinals team. You know, this is not a joke of a team. We're going to talk about it, break the game down, talk about some key moments and key players. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Let me know what you thought of the game. We'll start with this little game overview, obviously. Coming out with the first, you know, first quarter. I mean, two straight touchdowns. That's exactly what our offense should be doing against a team like the Cardinals. And in the road game, first road game of the year, they showed up, you know. Like I said, two two straight touchdowns. Uh, Dave Montgomery kind of got things going for us, as he always does. You start the game with him, you finish the game with him. Exactly what Dan Campbell said after that Rams win. Dude is literally the best tackle breaker I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, Jared Goff was near perfect in the first half. I believe he was, he might have actually been perfect. I think he was 8 of 8 at halftime or something like that. Started the game 14 of 14, finished 18 of 23 with 200 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, which we'll talk about later. But overall, the offense was, I think, three for three in the first half on touchdowns. I think they might have had four drives. Um, someone will have to let me know in the comments I, if, if, if they had four drives or not in the first half. I thought they had three, and they scored on all three. Um, I believe they did. But either way, offense was absolutely perfect. Defense, I mean, it was all right. You know, like the first drive was kind of like, eh. And then all of a sudden, like, after that, the defense just locked down. And we're going to talk about them, obviously, here in just a moment. Um, actually right now because we're going to get into the second half where the defense completely locked down. We're up 20 to 10 at halftime. You know, I, I kind of figured all we needed was a touchdown and maybe a field goal and this game was over. We didn't even need that because the defense locked down. Kyler Murray, I don't even think, barely had over 100 yards passing. And he did get a few, you know, a couple rushing yards there in the beginning. But overall, what a great game. What a great game from the defense. I was in incredibly impressed. I mean, that was probably one of the better defensive performances I've seen. And, you know, I st we kind of started the year like this last year where we just had a couple really good defensive games. But I just hope to keep it up. And despite all the injuries, we played great. Now, some key moments from this game. Here's one of them. Kirby Joseph interception, obviously, to, uh, you know, basically stop a drive right there. And then, obviously, the uh, the one that just happened before that, the Amon Ra touchdown or sorry the Amon Ra to Jameer Gibbs uh, hook and ladder touchdown like dude that was Ben Johnson finally opened up the playbook what a play that was and I, I loved it glad that we finally decided to open up the playbook a bit and get a play like that going that was probably the second best play of the game and then right here comes probably I would say honestly the best play of the game because this probably saves seven points from running the board Carlton Davis getting a huge stop on fourth and one I mean that was literally probably like I said play of the game stopped the Cardinals from scoring you know at least three if not seven points and then Jameer Gibbs takes it the very next play up the middle for about 20 yards so those are probably the three biggest plays of the game right there now how about some key players who were the biggest players in this game we'll start with Amon Ross St. Brown he had about I think 75 receiving yards and a touchdown um and I think it was like seven or eight catches. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on those, but I forgot to write it down. But either way, how about that performance? I mean, he's looking better and better. He had a big game last week, and he finally gets in the end zone this week. Loved it. Dave Montgomery, over 100 yards rushing. He gets a touchdown as well. The dude is just, I mean, look at this right here. I mean, just staying up, and then <laughs> that was, you know, all over ESPN. That was amazing. That's how you just know we have the best O-line in the league, right? Um, and overall, I like what I saw. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball. How, or actually, we'll, we'll go to Jared Goff. 18 to 23, two touchdowns, an interception. The interception was kind of bad, but overall, Jared Goff is best game of the year. 200 yards passing as well. Terry and Arnold, how about his game? You know, he did give up that pass interference, which again, horrible call. I mean, that was not a pass interference, but either way, the dude stepped up when he needed to. Uh, he only gave up like two or three catches the rest of the game, and he locked down Marvin Harrison Jr. a lot. Love what I saw. Jared Goff getting the, the game stealer right here on the ground. But um, overall, Brian Branch is a huge game. I think he led the team in tackles with nine. Did go out of the game. He might be in concussion protocol. But overall, Aiden Hutchinson with another sack as well. And the Lions have now won nine straight games after a loss. And that right there shows you this team's resilience. You don't put your head down after a loss. We go back, we bounce back, and we win. And that's why this team will be in the playoffs. If, if we continue that streak the rest of the year, we will be in the playoffs because, A, if you keep that up, you'll be nine and one or nine and eight, and B, I don't think that we're going to be losing 
two games in a row or even you know like I, I, I don't see us losing more than six games all year I think this team is at least an 11 6 team maybe 12 and 5 and that right there would get you the division and maybe a one or two seed so overall Lions are two and one great win on the road against a team that was put up 41 last week and the Detroit Lions are back two and one let's keep it going let's beat the Seattle Seahawks Monday night with the blackout unis go Lions